Today is October 27th, a very important date because that is the birth date of President Theodore Roosevelt, possibly one of the toughest men to ever hold the office of U.S. President. Theodore Roosevelt was so tough, in fact, that in 1912, on the way to give a speech, he actually got shot, went and did the speech first, talked for an hour and a half, and then went to the hospital while he bled out through his bandage in front of the audience. That's pretty tough. Now, detail is a little bit sketchy, but the best I can tell, the cartridge used in the assassination attempt was a 38 Smith & Wesson. Not a special, just a plain Smith & Wesson. It's not quite as powerful as the 38 special we know and love today, but definitely still powerful enough to kill somebody. Now, Theodore Roosevelt himself, he actually attributes the fact that the bullet passed through his steel glasses case and his folded over 50 page speech to saving his life, stopping a bullet just short of his heart. It actually remained in his chest until he died. And to celebrate Theodore Roosevelt's birthday, I figured it'd be a good time to actually do a demonstration of his assassination attempt and how he survived it. I have a 38 special cartridge here and I've loaded it down to 38 Smith & Wesson power. It's still pretty powerful, by the way. I have 50 pages of notebook paper folded over just like a speech. A little piece of duct tape, just keep it together. I have a steel glasses case here. There's no glasses in it, but it is steel. It does attract a magnet. And I have a almost period correct revolver. It's a little bit, a little bit newer. It's from the 30s, but it's still fairly period correct. And I'm going to duct tape both of these to my Theodore Roosevelt analog, Dr. Wow Soda. The doctor is in. I don't shoot this old revolver very often. Alrighty. <laughs> Whoo! Light did a number, didn't it? Okay, well, it definitely got down to the president, unfortunately. And it did go through, right through the glasses case. You can see the entry went all the way through and out the back. And that is steel. And of course, after going through the steel glasses case, it went right through the speech. Alrighty, just like what happened before. Of course, there's no way to really tell how far that would have gone. I don't have ballistics gel or anything. And also, this is just a demonstration, not a scientific experiment. I do not exactly know what cartridge was used, the length of barrel used, the thickness of the paper in the actual uh, president's speech, um, nor do I know the thickness of the steel used in the glasses case. So there's several things, several factors that preclude this from being any kind of scientific test whatsoever. Simply a demonstration of what happened. Now remember, Theodore Roosevelt's assassination attempt happened in 1912. There was a newfangled cartridge on the market called the 45 ACP that might have changed history. Wonder if we can tell the difference. Alrighty, let's see what would happen if the good old Teddy was shot with a 45 automatic Colt pistol. <laughs> Pretty energetic, I'd say so. <laughs> And as expected, the 45 ACP left a bigger hole in the steel glasses case. It left a bigger hole in the speech. Now, unfortunately, it didn't hit Theodore Roosevelt, AKA Dr. Wow, straight on. It actually nicked it. You can see where the bullet hit the side and actually just barely nicked it, but enough to actually cause Dr. Wow to bleed out. Now, I was pretty disappointed with the glancing blow I gave Teddy Roosevelt with my 45 ACP. So, I'm back down to the farm, got another 45 ACP. I have the same glasses case, the same uh, folded over 50 page speech, and my Teddy Roosevelt analog Dr. Wow soda. This time, I do not want a glancing blow. All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty energetic. I think that was, I think that was more energetic than the uh, 38 Smith and Wesson. What do you think? <laughs> okay, well, again, there was a much larger hole that went through the glasses case. Of course, this is steel again, very sharp, but went through the glasses case really well. Bigger hole there. Went through the speech, bigger hole there. You can see right through the thing. And of course, poor. Teddy Roosevelt, a.k.a. Dr. Wow, did not fare so well. 
lump it to side by side. You guys be the judge of that because I can't see them both right now. So you guys be the judge to see which one of these actually had more energy behind it. Could be uh, one or the other, really. I'm not really sure. Well, guys, that's all I got for you today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments, questions, or show ideas, leave them in the comment box below the video. And as always, guys, you shoot safe, shoot often, and have a great day. See ya.